A shocking new development tonight in the search for a missing hiker. The National Park Service says Kean McLaughlin, who has dual Irish U.S. citizenship, went missing on June 8, 2021. Now, more than a year later, officials say a Wyoming woman made up a fake tip that wasted hundreds of hours and also thousands of dollars in the search for Kean. Senior national correspondent Brian Enton spoke last year with one of Kean's relatives, his mom, and he's here tonight with more on the consequences that this woman, uh, now involved in the case, is facing. Brian. Barney, you know, we cover so many of these missing cases, uh, missing person stories, and it's already so difficult for the families and for the authorities and for the search crews. And now you have a woman in this case who investigators say intentionally misled them. Kean McLaughlin, a 27-year-old hiker originally from Ireland, disappeared last summer. He was last seen hiking in Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. Investigators found his car, but no clue as to where he could be. Last October, we talked to his mother about the investigation. Do you have any idea what may have happened? I do not. Um, at this stage, we have absolutely no idea. We're, 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 we're trying to kind of understand what might have happened. Now a year after Kean vanished, the National Park Service says a 40-year-old Wyoming woman, Heather Mykoski, intentionally provided false information about him and is banned from Grand Teton National Park for five years. In a statement, it says, this wasted valuable time that could have been focused on searching areas of higher probability and it cost the federal government approximately $17,600. According to the Park Service, Mykoski reported seeing Kean the day he disappeared and said he was headed toward Taggart Lake because he planned to jump off his favorite rock into the water. After an investigation, park officials say that proved false. And other people told investigators Mykoski made up the sighting to keep the search going. All other sightings put McLaughlin on trails heading toward a different area of the park. It's not clear if McLaughlin knew Mykoski. His mother says she was not aware of any connection. Kean was living in Jackson, Wyoming, working as a snowboard instructor and bartender. He was hiking on the Lupine Meadows Trail when a witness saw him around 3.45 in the afternoon. He hasn't been seen since. Last fall, Kean's mother made an appeal to the public. We're really appealing to anybody who is in the park on June 8th, 9th or 10th to look back at their videos, their photographs. They may have caught Kean in, in the background. Or if you had met Kean, he's got a very distinctive Irish accent also. Kean was an experienced outdoorsman, but the conditions on the trail were dangerous in early June with melting snow and ice. That same month, the rescue officially became a recovery effort. Despite that news, Kean's mother decided she needed to go to the park to connect with her son. When you're hiking in that area, do you feel a connection to him? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. I know he's there and I want to bring him home. And this agreement, Marnie, bans that woman from Grand Teton National Park, as you heard. Uh, there was an exception made. She's allowed to go to the airport, uh, which is located inside the park close to Jackson, Wyoming there. Uh, but besides that, she's not allowed in the park for five years. Peculiar, Marnie. Brian. I mean, any idea why did they say anything about a motivation why she would get involved at all? Well, it's interesting. The motivation appears to be that she didn't want them to stop searching. So she may have sort of had good intentions in a way, um, but at the end of the day, she did way more harm than good because they ended up spending all of that time uh, totally in the wrong area, in the area where he was actually not spotted. Right. Uh, so any leads on the search and at any point have police said, do they suspect foul play or was he just out in a region where it's easy to get lost? It appears it's easy to get lost. It was a tough time of year to be hiking. Uh, they don't suspect foul play. At this point, uh, they are trying to recover his remains, to bring his mother some peace. Um, that interview I did with his mom uh, has always stuck with me. I mean, she is a strong woman, but she has this need to know what happened to her son. She's actually back in the United States now. She says she's not going to give up. She just needs um, some kind of closure. And obviously, we really uh, hope that she gets it. Yeah, I think we can all sympathize with that. Uh, Brian, real quick, um, how many resources are being put towards continuing to search for Kean right now? 
So they are still searching, and his mom wants to make sure of that. I mean, obviously, they don't have the sort of search parties that they had uh, in the beginning uh, with all of this. But now that we're getting into summer again, this is the season where they can get into those areas in Grand Teton and really search. They've got a grid search that's happening. They're able to uh, cross off areas that they searched last summer. So the search will continue this summer. All right, we'll continue to follow it. Brian Enton live tonight. Brian, thank you. And thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.